All right. We're stepping foot into the new palace. The final palace, I think. All right. Let's see what we've got. Still no picture or anything, so Joker. that's still a difference. Revival bead, soul food, and heal charm. It doesn't really help me. A charm generating heal power. Uh, eh, heal power. This place feels different than it did last time. Hmm. That was a few months ago, wasn't it? There could have been a change of heart since then. Do you remember how you, uh, how far you went in last time? Just past that door, basically. Yeah. I see. So you're only familiar with the area close to the entrance. No. Let's keep going. Oh. Wait. That's a heart shape. Okay. There are so many people here. This is definitely different from la uh, from the last time. Welcome and thank you for coming, patience. You will be glad. You you'll be guided to one of our specialty cared uh, specialty cared facilities according to your individual desires. We will at we will assist each and every one of you. Rest assured, everyone can be happy. Should you have any questions about the facilities, feel free to bring them to our staff members nearby. Mm. What a strange announcement. Become happy? What kind of place is this? Something to do with love, if I had to guess. After all, we did see I that feel it. treasure. Like this one. A misprinted poster, eh? This is the best. <coughs> Sorry. Locked. Or sealed, I guess. I have something. Laser pointer. As most people probably see, I'm like not rushing through this. It's probably because I want to take in every detail, whereas with every other palace and even Mementos, I was just like, eh, I know what this is like. Oh, hi. Oh, no. You aren't among those who desire salvation. Uh, take us to your room. Lee, you are unwanted intruders. Do not disturb our Lord's research. This world's salvation. The language of a shadow is a hint into its ruler's ideology. Mm -hmm. This one sounds rather cultish, for example. Yeah. Sorry, but we're going to pass through there now. We don't have the time to waste on peons like yourself. Why do you willingly strive for self-suffering? Why are you reaching out to your own pain? <laughs> Yoshizawa-san, you can do this, right? Yes, ready whenever. Ooh. It'll be too much trouble to go about this haphazardly. I'll provide the support. All right. Look at this scum pile up. Fine by me. Time for a bloodbath. Hmm. The catchy still, still sounds as violent as ever. It's been quite a while. Nothing gets me quite as excited as this. A catchy son. Yeah. Time to obliterate them. Uh, all right. Although I'm not too keen on his thoughts. Okay, Megandola. Mega Megadolan. Colossal damage. Make this quick. Debilitate. Riot gun. Huh. Hmm. Ugh, I still seem to do a... Oh, you know what? Hold on. I forgot to check out stats. Whoops, my bad.
Ah. So she is their weakness. Done. I think we handled that rather well, didn't we? Uh, yeah, sure. Especially considering the last minute arrangement of our team and all. <sighs> Yoshizawa san? Uh, yes. She so that shadow, thing. it said something about research and also something about pain. It mentioned salvation as well. Mm -hmm. All this seems to indicate that the palace's ruler is not in his or her right mind. Oh? I seem to have found a map to this place. Ah. Let's make good use of it. Yeah. Um, so I've only shared pleasantries with Akechi san. Would you say this is how he normally is? Like a, a ruthless sort of person. Yep, this is his normal. I see. What say we save the idle chatter for later and keep moving? Unless teaming up with a ruthless sort of person is too much for you to handle. Looks like we're busted. Yep. All right. <clears throat> Have a happy life. So the way that they're thinking is okay. That's where we came in. Okay, no, that's not following. It's merely right. just observing. Sorry, I'm just trying again. I'm just trying to take everything in. So those are the type of shadows we're supposed to be on the watch for. At least it's the only ones that I've seen. Something else. There we go. Good. One got knocked out. Okay. Yeah. This won't be so easy. One enemy taken out by Yoshizawa son. Nice. <sighs> they can't deal with blast attacks. Use those. I'll break them. Well, hit a critical. Pretty sad performance on their part. Okay. I can see the technique, Joker. Does that use items instead? It's only us. Ugh. Okay, see, mine is relatively high. What about Akechi's? What about Loki? Hmm. Okay. Fortify Spirit and Attack Master. Decreases chances of being inflicted with ailments. He does have an Evade Bless, which is nice. He also has Invigorate, th Invigorate 3. Both of them do. Oh, is that from the, uh... Probably from the adhesive. Hmm. She doesn't have a thing to dodge curse, though. Meaning that she's more susceptible to damage. I'm sensing a safe room potentially nearby. Let's look for it. It's a safe room. Shall we take a rest? Let's do it. God. Akechi sure is strange, I'll give him that. Let's get Yoshizawa is more of a kind person, whereas Akechi is less so. What? That voice. She knows who it is. Look. No way. 
I was close. It's her father's. This is her father's palace? Everyone will be arriving soon. Mom, Grandma. Yes, she'll be here too. Her I'm sister. Sure she'll be here once she's able to calm down. Oh. Is this really his Why? palace? Why? <laughs> Shizawa? Her cognitive Why? version? <laughs> that was your father in the video just now, wasn't it, Yoshizawa-san? And the one he was speaking to. Her sister. Sumire, my younger sister. Yeah. Sumire Yoshizawa. I mentioned to you that I'd lost a family member, right? Mm-hmm. But how was this video... <laughs> wrong I'm sorry I don't know what's been wrong with me lately I've been getting this feeling like like I need to remember something but at the same time I oughtn't remember it hmm can you still walk Yoshizawa son whatever it is that's happening we have to keep going if we hope to learn more about it yes I'm all right let's go Hey. Hmm? When was it that you said you became acquainted with Yoshizawa-san? After transferring here. I see. Anyway, let's move out. I suspect we still have a long way to go. Hmm. I'm hoping in some way we can... Ease the catchy's pain if you're picking up what I'm putting down here. Focus. There's no hiding around here. We're right above where we were before. Suspicious or anything. This place is enormous. What could this room be? Uh, you seem to be in pain again. Are you all right? Uh, I'm fine. It's just that I can't stop thinking about that video we saw earlier. Mm. You mean the one about Sumire san? Yes. Let's keep pushing. I need to find out why that was shown to me. Excuse me, sorry. Could this Somewhere. actually be her father's palace? And if so, what for? Hmm, another cutscene. You are misguided. Do not search for pain. Only tragedy awaits you beyond here. Huh. A newcomer. I think I know what he All means. these warnings of pain and tragedy. Who is your ruler? Why do you all think you know so much about me? Why do you think? If you won't give me an answer, then I'll just force my way through. I... At one. Stop rushing into things. Just calm down. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it time you're attached with mine? Uh, right. Okay, so did those actually what register? Okay. You're mine. 
into that as well. They dodge these. Which they aren't immune to. Guess the only thing left is to try this. Alright. That's not good. Okay, thanks for the thank you for the counter. They block that. Okay. All right, level up. Wait, I went from two to uh, I went from two to four. I leveled up twice. Such a fool. Rejecting our Lord's mercy. In that case, witness it for yourself. Mm. Now what? Oh wow, the crowd is going wild. Oh no. Their cheers are shaking the stadium to welcome a new heroine to the world of competitive gymnastics. Huh? I know who it is. Sister. My younger sister. Uh, she should be here in the stadium. What? Oh, there she is, Sumire. <gasps> Sumire, I did it. Yeah. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. Stop it! Don't fight it. I... <sighs> Rep repressed this memories. Son? Your... I really hope this helped you understand. A man's voice. If you keep pushing on like this, you're going to find nothing but heartache. Don't you stop fighting this and just return to the current reality? The current reality. Nothing but heartache, huh? He knows. I don't understand what you're saying, but I have no intention of leaving now. We are in agreement there. We also refuse to do as you say. Now why don't you drop the big voice behind the curtain act and face us directly? I know who it is. As you wish. I know who it is. It's gotta be. Who else who else could it be? Head on down. I'll meet you there. You agreed to that much more readily than I expected. Perhaps the palace's ruler really will make his appearance. What about Kasumi? Thanks for your concern, but I'm fine, really. Let's go. <laughs> Uh-oh. Kasumi Yoshizawa, eh? No. Hmm. Surely not. Why would he? Show me your true form! We have the element of surprise!
Got a two for one deal there. Yo, right, ready to go. Next. Persona. Sundrion. Next target. Well, time to be on our way. Okay. A good battle. I can feel it. This palace is... It's been quite a while, hasn't it? Dr. Maruki! Glad to see you're all doing well. I oh pretty much God. figured that you would end up infiltrating this place. Oh! Truth be told, this isn't how I was hoping we would meet again. Dr. Maruki... This is... You're the ruler of this palace? Palace? A place where distorted desires manifest. We're asking if you're the source of the desires here. Ah, I see. Well, to use your own words, yes, I am this palace's ruler. But in my case, it seems a tad different from the ones you've seen. Would we also be yeah. correct in believing that you're involved in the abnormalities outside the palace as well? Yes, you would. Okay, so he's... Do you like the reality I created for you? You I mean... created it? That's right. It, I've gained the power to alter reality, to make it whatever the people wish for. I didn't wish for this. Is that how you really feel? The old reality was cruel and unfair. The truth is, Yoshizawa-san suffers immense pain each and every time she taps into her forgotten past. My... past? Dr. Maruki? What do you mean? What's happened to me? All right. I had honestly hoped that all those warnings you were given would change your minds. But if it's your true desire, then I want you to recall who you really are. Oh boy. And I want you two to learn as well. Once you have, you'll need to choose between the two realities. The merciless one, or the one I've formed. We really have to take down this. I mean, he just. He's trying to create. A palace. Or a, a world where Today everyone brutal, can be huh? happy. Oh. Right? Feeling okay? It's not that. <sighs> this is. Why am I doing so bad? I keep messing up my routine. Your growth spurts just changed your eye level. You'll get used to it. Look, you're as tall as I am now. <laughs> we practice the same amount. Oh, but you are the one who always gets first place. I can't catch up to you, Kasumi. You know why? Because it's my right as the elder sister. Mm. We're in the same grade, though. <laughs> oh, don't be so down. We'll reach the top of the world together. That's our dream, right? You don't get it. Huh? You'll never understand how I feel. What? <laughs> Kasumi, if I were like you, things would be so much better. <clears throat> hey, wait up! <clears throat> Kasumi's the one that people want. You're going. The light's red. Hey! Someone do something. Why is everyone is moving the out of the, the way? Samira, stop! Listen to me, Samira! Wait. What? Oh. Not wait, that's 
What? <laughs> this is not Kitsui? I... She just... Uh, seems you remembered. That's right. I'm... She's not Kasumi? She's Sumeri? But... Ha! Uh, head, brain, not work. What? Is that why... She's getting third... Is this why in the original reality she was getting third place and everything? Is because she was... Her... She thought she was Kasumi, and that's why she was doing so- Oh my god, everything's- everything's falling into place. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> oh. That's- she's not- Kasumi? She's not- No, that's not right. I'm- I'm not Kasumi. No, she's... The girl named Kasumi Yoshizawa is currently deceased. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It was last spring. Before I started at Shujin, we were walking home from practice. It happened right there. No. On that what the street fuck in the is video. happening? Yuri, I need help. What's going on? And Kasumi, she protected me from the car. I was saved by Kasumi. I robbed her of her dreams and even her life. I'm her younger sister, Sumira Yoshizawa. I'll take over from here. After all, I do play a part in this story. Her real name. Is Sumire Yoshizawa. She's Kasumi san's younger sister. Oh my god. Now. She's only seen herself as being Kasumi Yoshizawa, her deceased <laughs> elder sister. <laughs> of course, it was only her cognition of herself that changed. So, to the people around her, she was still Sumire san. For some reason, though, there were a few rare exceptions to this. Did something happen to make you believe she was Kasumi san? What do you mean? It seems to be at a. It seems. Uh, wait, hold on. It seems to be a Shujin Academy pocketbook. The name Kasumi Yoshizawa is written inside. It appears you were clueless, but she was Sumire Yoshizawa from the start. <laughs> However, when we watched that other video, she gave her name as Kasumi Yoshizawa. Considering such an odd claim. I'd actually suspected for a moment that she was the palace ruler. I thought so too. Died. I, th Before I, I thought so Shijin, too. I received counseling from Dr. Maruki. That was when I told him. If you... Kasumi is gone and can't make her dream come true, you then do it for I her? To become Kasumi, oh my god. So I can turn her dream into reality for her. Oh my god. So that's why you meddled with her cognition? For her own wishes. That's right. Limited as it was, I already had the power at the time to actualize her wish. So he doesn't want to do any harm. If anything, he wants to help people. He's not like normal p palace rulers. Palace rulers, normal ones, are just out for their own selfish gains, but. So far as we've witnessed, he just wants to make everything better. He wants to... <sighs> Oh my god, this is so Put much. Put yourselves in her shoes for a moment. Yeah. Samire-san's older sister died from protecting her. Imagine surviving such a dismal tragedy. Who would be able to cope with that survivor's guilt, let alone heal from the emotional scarring that she's suffered? If Sumire-san can live a healthy, positive life by becoming Kasumi-san, then I believe that reality is what would make her happy. I've had enough of your high and mighty rationalization. All you really did was use her to try and make everyone acknowledge the validity of your research. 
So that's how you see things, huh? Yeah, I was about to say, that's quite unfortunate. Doesn't... Of course I wanted society to acknowledge cognitive science through my research. But that's because my goal is to save everyone in the world like Yoshizawa-san by ending all suffering. Mm-hmm. <sighs> my work will convert the wishes of the people into reality. So... Morgana wanted to be human, so he changed that. Futaba missed her mother, so he brought her back. Haru felt lonely without her father, so he brought him back. <sighs> Makoto was suffering because Makoto and Sai were alone, so he brought his so he brought their father back. Even as we speak, my research is coming to fruition. No one will ever have to suffer again under the yoke of an unfair world. This palace, you called it? It's a place where its ruler's desires take physical form, yes? Mm. I wish to utilize my research to save humanity. I suppose that would be the desire I hold dearest. What total nonsense. You could very well be right. Still... I'm entirely serious about changing our imperfect reality. Just as she was saved by becoming Kasumi, I'll save every other person in the world currently suffering. In fact, it's my responsibility to do so. You can see how this world's bestowed the duty upon me. What happens to the old reality? I don't know for certain. It'll most likely be treated as if it never existed. The cruel reality will cease to be, and the reality I generate will be the sole world recognized by society. So all that effort we went through, everything we did to change the world so that everyone would be happy, having... <sighs> we saved so many people. Had people confess the crimes that they had once committed. Reform, changed other people. For example, Futaba. She was a shut in the entire, her entire life ever since her mother died. But we were the ones to bring her back. To. Ex to. Explore the world outside the room. There's so much that it's. <laughs> And you assume we'll buy into your brainwashing and just live in the palm of your hand. Honestly, that sounds absolutely revolting. All right, so that's your answer, Akechi-kun. How about the others? Yoshizawa-san, allow me to ask you yet again, which reality is it that you wish to inhabit? Mm. <laughs> if you so desire, you can return to your life as Sumire. But if you'd rather continue your life as Kasumi, I can grant that wish for you as well. Dr. Maruki... I... Believe in yourself. It's impossible. I'm sorry, senpai. I... I can't go back to being her. I can't be the one who led her sister to her death. Please don't judge her. This is just evidence of how painful life is for her. Mm. You two sense doubts forming in the reality I manifested. That's what brought you here. Hmm. But please, remember this as well. You two aren't excluded from the people that I wish to save. There's no reason to Come save now. us. Won't you accept my reality for your own happiness? I'll find my own happiness. No deal so far, huh? Hmm? What the? Yo! What do you think you're doing with her? I won't harm her. 
It's in her best interest that you turn back. You've made clear that you reject the reality she desires. The reality where she lives as Kasumi Yoshizawa. <sighs> this isn't reality. It saddens me when you speak that way. Don't you understand? You deny her wishes when you say such things. Her wishes, huh? This isn't just for her. I'm doing all of this for yourselves as well. I honestly do want to come to terms with you. We should talk. Think about it. You both have dreams, no? I have the power to make them come true. My reality can become just the way you like. Total waste of my time. Mm. A shame, but I understand. Well then, we just have to resort to force now, don't we? Violence is not my thing. Is I agree, that? though. It seems we're out of options here. Crap. Okay. What is that? Time to fight. Are you ready? Mm. Keep up and don't embarrass me. <laughs> I don't think I could do that to my rifle. Stop it. Rejecting our lord. Disgusting. We're not here to listen to your bullshit. All right, let's start off simple. All right, he doesn't resist physical. He absorbs. He absorbs. You make that look easy, Joker. That should do. Let's bring those down. Oh, so he knows that too. <laughs> it's useless, idiot. Ugh. Oh, hey, detox. <laughs> Kevo, don't speak this to your friend. He's not here. Okay, so he blocks curse. Okay, Detox didn't come into play there. Nice. Another one? Okay, he's clearly not going to make this easy for us. Try something else. Okay. What is with him in that move? 
Okay, I'm good. Uh. Use this. Persona! You're mine. Just see what this will do. Okay, I didn't think it was gonna do that much. What is that? Why I do that? I have to. Need this? Do anything anymore. It's useless, idiot. That's going to be it right now. Or not. Oh, wait, here we go. No. Not happening. Running your mouth already. I'm going to shut that thing up. Give me a hand. This. <laughs> I'm fairly certain any further negotiating is pointless. <laughs> that seems to be the case, unfortunately. But first, I have an idea. Rather than explain oh it with words, I'd like you to actually see this new reality with your own eyes. I know that your friends are already enjoying it. Let us help her. That I cannot do. Oh, come on. As I said before, she wishes to live in the reality where she is Kasumi. There's no way I can hand her over to you with matters as they currently are. I already told you that I won't harm her, and I'll swear by it. Don't worry about her. Go. Look at the reality I've created for you all. Once you've seen the results, I know you'll realize which future is best. <sighs> You think we'll just obey your orders? I apologize, but you really are going through with this, even if it's by force. Hmm? We'll meet again one week from today, January 9th. I genuinely pray that you'll change your mind by then. 
Can he force us out of a palace? He got away. We shouldn't chase him too far. Hmm. Let's say we head back for now. I had spent all that time investigating the people around you so I could set you up. To think Takuto Maruki of all people would be the mastermind behind this absurd situation. And he happens to be warping the very fabric of reality while ranting about making everyone's dreams come true. Mm -hmm. Talk about incomprehensible motives. I can't even wrap my head around such intentions. Mm. At any rate, we need to figure out our next steps. We need to save Sumere. Don't you think it'd basically be suicide to try and save her in our current state? And what else are we gonna do? We need intel first. If we're going to stand up to him, we have to know more than nothing. I'll do some investigating on my own. Damn. I hate that we have to do what he says, but Maruki told us we have to wait until January 9th. Let's meet up here next week. Although, I imagine both our lives will be very different if you choose to live in this reality as your friends have been. So this is the reality that Maruki created. The reality that Maruki created. There's no point over, uh, obsessing over it now. I should go back to my room. <sighs> Still, that showtime. Mmm, that's great. Welcome home. You sure were out late. Hmm. It's me. I discovered something that I thought I should tell you right away. I called Yoshizawa-san's house to see what I'd learn. They said she's been at training camp since yesterday. To think, Maruki really is changing our physical reality as he sees fit. That's scary. No kidding. This is the first time I've witnessed a power that even comes close to this magnitude. Even the great phantom thieves you're so proud of fell in line with this scheme. You're going to see if you can change their minds, aren't you? Well, fine. I suppose we could use the manpower. If you can actually bring them to their senses, that is, that's wholly dependent on whether you, uh, on whether or not they're capable of leaving the reality they're supposed they supposedly wish for. I'll focus on investigating Mar Maruki further. You do what you need to do. Thanks. Remember what we agreed upon before? We made a deal here. Well, I'll reach out to you. Uh, I'll I'll reach out to you should anything come up. Good night. Was that a catchy? You two seem to be getting along well lately. Hey, so I was thinking, why don't the why don't us Phantom Thieves go uh, all go to a hot spring together sometime? Then Lady On and I. <sighs> Hold on. Rather than explain it with words, I'd like to, I'd like you to actually see what this new reality with oh yeah, I'd like you to see this new reality with your own eyes. I know that your friends are currently enjoying it, Drea Kuhn. It seems this reality is the only is the one that Morgana wished for. All right, we ought to be we ought to hit the hay for today. Ah, the bed may be a tad too cozy for the both of us. Oh well, I'll just start sleeping on the sofa instead. You're one handsome guy? No. Are you happy? Huh? Where's that coming from? Well, yeah, I'd say I'm happy. Do you like this reality? Like reality? Well, it is one of the one we fought for with everyone else, so... What did I mean by... That... Doesn't seem right. I got captured in Kamoshida's palace, and that's when I met you guys. When I... When we'd go to the Mementos, I'd transform into a... Keep thinking, uh... Keep thinking it through. Huh? Uh, okay. I got used to be, I got to be useful for humans I admired. Oh, I got used to be, you, uh, yeah. 
Nothing can make me happier. That's right. What was... Sorry, I'm gonna go out and do some thinking for a bit. You should get some sleep. Yo, anyone think he kind of looks like Yato from Noragami? <laughs> it seems all I can do is... All I can do now is wait. Now I know whose palace it is. Oh, Maruki said your friends are currently in, are already enjoying it. I should go see them. <laughs> if only I could grab some. Where is everyone? We should look for th them while I check out the town. So you saw it, huh? <laughs> I was just looking through those. Those things that got recommended to me, so I was like, holy crap, is that Ved in the comments section here? I don't normally type in comments on posts, but I think I could I think I could make an exception. More importantly, though, it's all anyone talks about now. here we go. On. For real? Ho Suzui, right? <laughs> I know her for a different reason. Are beaming with joy. It seems this is the reality. It seems this reality is the one on wished for. <sighs> oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Shiho is coming back uh, to her school. Everyone in volleyball knows that Shujin's this top student, uh, this top school when it comes to the sport. That's how I was able to convince my parents to let me transfer back after more than a little after more than a little begging. Yeah. I mean, I see why with how a catchy currently is. However, a catchy is the one who's doing the most work right now. Feels like, I feel like everything's just perfect. Is it everything? Th this might set something off. Is it everything you wished for? Hmm? Huh? What I wished for? Well, I guess you could say so. 
any doubts about it. Hmm. But. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll be waiting for you. Um. She hosts still alive even after all of the things that made her want to die. You have no right to run from this. Huh? <laughs> there we go. Feeling a bit tired? Sure. Why don't we go find some place to sit and relax for a bit? Sorry. Bye. Seems all I can do now is wait. I guess I should go home. Han seemed happy to be with Shiho, who was able to continue playing volleyball. But is this how truly uh, is this truly how things should be? I should check up on the other members tomorrow. <laughs> there has to be someone I haven't checked up on yet. I should go see them. I mean, I only interacted with On yesterday. There's a lot more people that I need to interact with. people here. However, let's head over to Makoto. Let's see what she thinks. Here we go. Hmm. Your dad is? Are you talking about uh, Sumere and Akechi? That reminds me. Enjoying the family time? Has your dad been supportive? Mm -hmm. No, but something's wrong. My dad, mom died, so dad raised us alone. And sis, I'll be waiting for you. Huh? But I'll be okay. I finally found a place where I belong. I should head home. Well, I mean, I see why, because everyone wants to play with uh, the new characters, right? The 
Koda seemed happy being, uh, being able to spend time with her, with both her father and sister. But is this truly how things should be? I should check up on the other members tomorrow. Oof. 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 I almost... Okay. I... I'm trying to avoid anything about strikers. I saw... I saw P, uh, P5S, and I was like, oh. That's probably... It's probably something for strikers. Now we're into the somewhat final area, right? We're getting there at least. Alright, let's see who's here. that what what the hell is this what are those mm. should probably pick up Ryuji Oh yeah, 100%. I've avoided, I've tried to avoid ev like everything I can. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You mean you got scouted by that college? Whoa, pipe down, stupid. I'm, it's not, it's, it's not for sure nothing yet anyway. I'm just saying the school's gotten word of something like that. Still, that rules. You even made it onto the podium at nationals too. I was worried about what would happen after you uh, after you screwed up your knee, but I'm glad you were able to bounce back. No, no way, you're man. still jumping the gun with this. I'm I'm just trying my best so I don't get laughed off by the team uh laughed off the team by you guys. Ryuji's laughing happily with the other with the other members of the track team. It seems this reality is the one that Ryuji wished for. By the way, I want to point out with Strikers, I haven't seen like trailers nothing no characters or anything so all of it is going to be new the only things that i've seen are things that i've uh, are things that i've played skikoni what are you doing here it's still winter break oh maybe he stopped by to congratulate you too man someone sure is popular is there anywhere you want to go eat after practice it's our treat today Oh, that's nice of you guys. How about an how about an extra large beef bowl and some pork miso soup? What? Hey, why don't you come with us, Kagoni? Enjoying the return to track? Uh, yeah. yeah, it's been fun, but what do you mean? It's just it's just what I like doing, you know. I get all uh, I get all down when I'm not running. So your legs fine now? My leg? Oh, you worried about me? I'm totally fine, dude. No problems since, uh, no problems. There's, uh, no problems there since that injury a while back. And that was actually Kamoshida's fault. So, wait, what? Ain't something wrong here? How do we know each other anyhow? First we met in school. Uh, we met in front of the station by school. Then I'll be waiting for you. Uh, sure. It's now or never. Here it goes. Yes, the Shido run. Whoa. Whoa what the hell was that? You okay, S Sakama uh, Sakamoto? Sakamoto? Yeah, what happened? Uh, what happened to you guys at the station? Uh, nothing. See Sorry, I gotta get back to practice. See ya. <laughs> Seems all I can do now is wait. 
guess I should head home. Obviously, I'm gonna hit. Um, I'm gonna hit a point where, you know, I'm gonna finish this game. My thought is, what game would you guys want to see next? Because a game that's been on my mind for kind of a bit now, and I, for some weird reason, had a super nostalgic feeling for it, is this one. Of course, we're also close to this one with one of the endings. And we're kind of far off with this one, but... You know. Eventually we'll beat it. Focus. Anyway, those are just games that I have on me right now. Ooh, also! I have the uh, Nathan Drake collection. I also have the Devil May Cry series, so I could probably play those at some point. Oh, you couldn't see them? Uh... Hold on. Nope, not that one. He's probably with Madarame. What a coincidence. Maybe his mother, because his mother's not dead. This. Sonic Heroes. A nice GameCube original, which is... still in its case. I also have uh, another one that I have on hand is the uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. You can see. Oh, there we go. And then Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. Those are just the ones that I have on hand right now. I do have the other one. I do have uh, the Devil May Cry series downloaded. Uh, same as... Indeed. My sensei, of course. Madarame. Uh... Ah, uh, so she's still gone. Yusuke is so happy. It seems this is the the real. Uh, it seems this reality is the one that Yusuke wished for. Ah, uh, I just could. I just had the a wonderful idea. Why don't you come join us for dinner? Sensei's been very interested in meeting you. Don't worry. Who will even pay for the meal? Madara is Madarame a good sensei? Yes. Yes, I'd say so. But what's this? Uh. But what's this, uh, what's this about? So out of the blue. But there's also the, there's also the Nathan Drake collection and the Devil May Cry series. One, two, three, four, and then five. Of course, I haven't seen anything about the Devil May Cry series and I don't remember which order I'm supposed to play them in. <laughs> Th 
the Sayuri looks great there. It's not the painting's name. Hey. I'll be waiting for you. I... What is... Could I be making the, the same mistakes as I did before? To think this painting was the source of Madarami's distorted desires. The only saving grace is that my mother wouldn't know what uh, of what transpired. <laughs> Skagoni, I... My Actually, apologies. I'm sorry, but I'd like to be alone for now. So, uh, Ved, out of curiosity, like, how long do you think, in terms of hours, how long do you think that it would take for me to beat this? The reason why I'm asking is because today, I went to work, and tomorrow's my day off. So... I should be able to play a bit longer today. <laughs> and by a bit longer, I mean I could pull another 11 hours. <laughs> oh, Lord. I don't know how long this will actually take me. I wonder if it's like a thing that I could run through in one day or not. Alright, so let's... We did... So, we need Futaba, 100%, but who else is there? We did Morgana. We're going to do Futaba, I think. We did Yusuke. Uh... We did... Ryuji. And Makoto. Done a whole lot of people at this point, haven't we? Who, wait, who am I forgetting? I know I'm forgetting someone. Who am I forgetting though? Ah, it's just us. We have Sumere. I don't think I'm uh, too high of a level. Haru, of course. How could I have forgotten Haru? God. I knew I was forgetting someone. I just wasn't exactly sure of who it was. Here we go. Oh, man. All right. You have a good one. Hope you have fun with it. If possible. <laughs> uh... Really? 
three of them are all smiling at each other. It seems this, rea uh, this reality is the one that Futaba wished for. It goes great with his coffee. There we go. Isn't this like a beautiful dream? You can figure this out. Huh? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I'm okay. Oh boy. Time to head home. Yo, Sojiro does look good in a fedora though. <laughs> Wait, I have a fedora somewhere. Where did I put my fedora? Hold on. Wait. Hold on. I I am I am not kidding you guys when I say I have a fedora. I had it for a certain reason. Uh that certain reason being <laughs> a dance. Um before you guys ask, yes, I did go all out with like a suit and everything. With a fedora, mind you. Two fedoras in case one got ruined. I know I left it in this area. This general area, I know I left it in. Because... Because of a certain reason. Where did I put that stupid fedora? <laughs> Where is it? <sighs> My fedora! I have to, I have to have the fedora ready for a certain reason. It was up there, wasn't it? Did I move it? And if I moved it, where did I move it to? I need to have a special fedora in that area. <laughs> so that this doesn't happen anymore. You know, like a little mannequin head. Because I have a mannequin head, I can just slap the fedora on there, and then whenever I need it, I can just do it. There it is. Fedora! Where hast thou, where, where hast thou gone? I mean, I'm kind of pissed that I didn't remember 
wonder why did I forget her in the first place? If I keep her entire ten step thing. Sorry, Ben. God, you don't have to it ellipsis me. It took me like 20 minutes to find. Hey, 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 I found it, all right? is no it doesn't <laughs> a proper fedora <laughs> now to get Haru while wearing my fedora Hey, hey. Shibuya, this is Shibuya. Okay, so this is the right fedora. Can I see? I can see. Why do you think I can't see? Hmm? Up the stairs. Through here so I get to the select area. All right, and then we need to go. No, wait, not there. God dang it! There we go. All right, where is she? I can see. What do you mean it doesn't look like it? Oh, there's Okumura with Haru. The amount of pedestrian traffic here is well within our threshold. This would make a fine location for a new store. Yes. I agree. The research says this community is the mo is most interested in high quality ingredients in a modern store design. Perhaps this location should focus more on organic produce and a simple but elegant interior. Hey, Haru. My. Oh, Skagoni kun I didn't expect to, s to run into you here. Uh, what are you up to? <laughs> I'm helping out my father today. We're here to inspect a potential site for a new company store. Is this a friend of yours? Yes, he's been a wonderful friend to me. He's an underclassman at my school. Oh, -ho, to think you've made a fr you have made a fr uh, a male friend, Haru. Wait, what? Or are you truly just ah, God? Wait. Jeez, father, don't go jump to conclusions like that. <laughs> Calm down, Haru. I was merely teasing. But still, were such a man to appear in your life, make sure you tell me right away. Understood? My hand, my fedora is falling down. Oh, father, is that jealousy I'm detecting? 
Haru and father are Har Haru and her father are enjoying each other's company. It seems this reality is the uh, is one that Haru wished for. It's been quite some time since I last saw saw Haru like this. You must truly you must truly be a wonderful friend to her. Please keep a uh, keep <laughs> please keep being as good to her as you have been. After all, my daughter's happiness is my own happiness. Oh. Uh, he's a great. Mmm. Both of these. He's a great father, isn't he? Thank you. Yes, he is. Thank you. Although he can be a bit overprotective at times. No, my fedora. I almost can't see anymore. But he's honest and caring. He really is my ideal father. Uh. <laughs> Has your dream come true? My dream? Oh no, I wouldn't call it my life. Uh, my life anything so drastic. After all, I've been so busy lately that I can barely handle what's on my plate. So there it is. Um. I know you'll get through this. Hmm. <laughs> oh god. What have uh, what happiness can be found in th uh, through profit gained by crushing the hearts of others? Excuse me? Haru, what's the matter? Uh, why don't we take a break somewhere? Until next time. It's like a picture of a fedora in my head. <laughs> oh boy. God, with this hat on my head and the way my hair currently is, I... It's me. I've uncovered a few things in my... I know I don't look exactly like... I don't. I know I don't look like this fitting image of him, but... What, uh, one person that I kind of look like is, uh... Um... Oh my god, what was his name? I haven't seen the anime in forever. Hold on. What is it? Uh... Wait. Uh, Kisuke. I look like Kisuke a bit. With my hair being as messy as it is. Oh god, it's gonna fall. <laughs> why are you guys- wait, why are you guys shouting for my fedora to fall? Come on. Ah! Stuff, guys. Milady. <laughs> uh, by all means. First, regarding Maruki himself, he's been researching the treatment of patients through changes in their cognitions since his college years. You already knew about that, correct? Pretty much. Maruki's work of course, he, of course, he said that he was planning to break ground on a research facility somewhere. And, and you're not as wrong. You know, those plans never came to fruition. His funding was cut off, and his research was ended for him. Uh... So his research was stalled. It's probable. However, we can't be certain of the reason why. At least with our current understanding. Hmm. What was the purpose of his research into cognitive science? Doesn't it feel like there's more to the story? It does, and I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I can trust Maruki right now because I mean Maruki I feel like he's got another side to him same as Akechi. Akechi played himself as a hero but as we know of him now he's more violent which just get, leaves a question what if Maruki's doing the same thing for example Maybe his research was stymied by someone else for their own reasons. Hmm. Anyway, that's all I could dig up about Maruki's history. The only thing that's become clearer is his stance on using cognitive science. He's dead serious about saving people. He distorted reality itself to make his dream come true. I can only imagine how delighted he is right now. Ah, that reminds me. There was one more thing I wanted to tell you. About the reality Maruki has put us in. 
It yeah. seems that Takumura and Wakaba are both considered alive by all accounts. Mm. Uh, what do you mean? They aren't mere illusions or cognitive beings. They truly are alive and existing in this world. In fact, their deaths seem to have never taken place at all in this reality. Uh, and the Phantom Thieves? They seem to have been causing a stir in society, just like in our original reality. But Shido alone was arrested on the crime of attempting to overthrow the government. Mm. Basically, in this reality, you and I haven't committed any crimes. I don't understand how Maruki was able to distort reality to such extremes. But at the very least, he was being honest when he told us that he'd make such revisions. And rather convenient ones. <clears throat> what do you make of it? Remaining in this Maruki revised reality means living under his thumb forever. Mm. And I refuse to live like that. I'll be the one to choose my path. That's how I've lived up to now. And it's going to continue from here till the end. But what about you? Hmm? You saw them for yourself, didn't you? Your friends seem to have taken a liking to Maruki's version of reality. Don't tell me you've changed your mind after seeing them. Don't worry about it. I see. I pray your answer doesn't change when we face Maruki tomorrow. That takes care of the info I wanted to share. See you soon. See you in Odaiva. Are you going somewhere tomorrow? Odaiba with Akechi. With Akechi? You guys are really hitting it off lately. Of course, that's not a bad thing. Hmm. Hey, so about what you said before, you know, that stuff about my happiness? Sorry, it's nothing. Good night. Is he hesitant? Oh, you came. Mm -hmm. Based on the look in your eyes, I'm guessing your friends aren't going to be of any use to us. I'm sure they'll come around. Oh, yes. Because I'm sure you're all just as close as you were before reality was changed. Well, there's no point in griping about it out here. Are you ready? As I mentioned yesterday, it's quite likely that we'll have to confront Maruki physically. If you're not prepared for such a contingency, then please go and take care of your affairs as quickly as possible. Hmm. Well, I write something. I don't think there's anything we can really do at this point now, is there? How about this? Now, let us depart. Excuse me, is, uh... Whoa! Uh, hey guys. Looks like we've all had the same idea. <laughs> Are you here to speak with him as well? <laughs> uh, kinda. So, he's not here? Nope. He left around noon. Said he was meeting up with Akechi. Sojiro said if we need to talk about stuff, we can use this place for a while. Cool. You know, he asked me the other day, something along the lines of whether or not I'm okay with how things are. At first, I didn't know what he was talking about, but as he kept going, his words started making my chest feel all tight. I know what you mean. And ever since then, it's like, like something isn't right in my heart anymore. Mm. I have no complaints about my current life. On the contrary, in fact. I'm truly happy with it. 
So in that case, what is this inkling of a feeling I have deep in my soul? <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> uh, damn it. I'm so bad at figuring out this sort of stuff. Hey, do you think maybe we're all running away from something super important? Mm. I've been kind of wondering for a while now. Maybe the reason his words hurt so much is because he's right. But I was too scared to admit that for some reason. That's why I pretended I didn't understand what he meant. When I was speaking with him, I felt like I caught a glimpse of this mysterious sight. Something that shouldn't have happened. But still, I felt like I shouldn't turn away from it. Same here. <laughs> and myself as well. It seems that we really have lost sight of something precious to us after all. Mm. That might be. But, but I'm so scared to remember what it is. If I remember that, I feel like my life as I know it is going to end. Alright, you have a good one, Fed. Show the rest of your day. I don't want to feel or this night. way anymore either. Whichever one. Me too. Guess that's it, huh? He was trying to tell us all something important, and I bet he's probably still working on it somewhere. Ain't no way I'm gonna bail on him just so I can keep running from whatever it is. Hmm. When I had that strange experience you all mentioned, I saw him and the rest of us there together. I want to believe the connection we share here is a genuine one. Well. I know if we don't do something soon, we're going to lose our connection with him. Don't ask how I know. It just feels like the truth to me. <laughs> I admit I am happy right now, but I just can't accept the situation as it is. I'm done with trying to escape my problems. <gasps> huh? The reality. The reality Maruki came up with. Did it break? Alright, regardless, it's just us well, now. Let's figure out where my Maruki is first. I don't want to waste any time wandering around aimlessly. We encountered an, inform uh, an information guide after going up that elevator. If he intends to welcome us in so graciously, perhaps we'll come across another guide soon. <laughs> ah, before, but before I forget... I suspect the battles are going to get even tougher from here on out due to our lack of manpower. If I must. Focusing on our own abilities is fine, uh, is fine and all. But depending on the situ, but depending on the situation, it'll be more efficient to team up. The combination move we pulled off before that, uh, uh, we pulled off before that wasn't half bad. All right. Of course, that all depends on whether or not you can keep up with me. Oh. You'll see if I'm able to keep up a catchy. After all, we are rivals, are we not? I can't afford him to be better than me. For rivals. Well, looks like there's an interaction point just up ahead. Focus. Which just leaves a question. Hmm. So this way is the same. This was the first time, uh, this is the route that I took the first time that I infiltrated Mar Maruki's cognitive world, his palace. I think it was somewhere around here. VIP patients identified. We will now begin the grand tour. The auditorium is now open. The master awaits you there, with the patience you seek. Please enter through the door on the left side, the left hand side of the entrance hall. <laughs> it's just as I thought. They're politely informing us of their location. That must be the door. Let's go. <sighs> oh, there we go. Interesting. Ah. Gotcha. Show me your true form. We have the element of surprise. 
Nice. Persona, go down. Joker got a two for one deal there. Let's go. Look at that. Let's show them a real power. I need to see a. You know what? I I need to see a catchies all out. Okay. They were too weak to be a threat. I'll reveal your true form. Let's see if I can pull off the catchies all out. They let their guard down. Okay, this just leaves a question. They're an even match for us, so don't mess up too much. Ah, okay, that was just high counter. Weak? All right, Yuri, we're about to see Ketchy's all out. Oh my god. All right. That the face. Let's proceed. I can feel it. There seems to be a treasure chest. That face. Oh my god. There seems to be a safe room near us. It's a safe room. Yeah. I'll just add this. Holy crap. I mean... It's not... It's not bad. Know what may be waiting for us. Let us explore carefully. Hey. You know, when I saw Akechi again, I my thought wasn't, "Hey, this man is go this man is insane." Hmm. But, hmm, okay. To be fair, his persona is Loki, the god of the god of mischief and mayhem. So, thank you for coming. Oh, hey, he was expecting us. Fuck. <laughs> what's wrong what's wrong with Sumere? She's only sleeping. I've never had any intention of hurting her. Once her inner turmoil begins to settle, I'll have her remember her life as she wishes to live it. The life that she wishes for, huh? Call it what you like. You're merely brainwashing people for your own satisfaction. I'm wholly aware that some will interpret my acts that way. But if that self-satisfaction leads to the happiness of thousands of others, don't you agree that outcome is for the best? Mm. If I understand correctly, you went and checked in on your friends this past week. This reality is the one that they all wished for. Did any of them seem troubled by that fact? Mm. This reality is the true reality. All you have to do is recognize it as such. Once you do, you'll be just as happy as they are. I have no reason to be. Yourselves. Your friends don't just want to live these lives. They want you to choose this reality for yourselves and live happily too. This reality. Mm. Please, I want you to understand. For their sake, as well as yours. Don't fall for this. Oh my god, don't fall for this. Yes. Well, it's time. Wait. What if you... Here's the thought that just crossed my mind. What if it isn't what they wished for? What if Maruki is forcing them to 
have a world in which they think that they would want. Oh my god. He's forcing them to have the reality that they think that they would want. True, it is, true Morgana did say that he wants to be human, but he was, he said a after, he said after the fight with Yaldabaoth, he said, I got, to, I got to be useful to the humans that I, uh, that I admired so much. Nothing in the world could make me happier. Including this so-called wish that Maruki is granting him. So he must be forcing them to think that way. He is a counselor, so it does make sense that he'd be able to manipulate the mind much easier than anyone else. <sighs> or was the counselor, obviously. <laughs> If we stay in this world, we, re we really could lead happy lives, free from pain and suffering. But our memories will be distorted to allow, uh, to allow for the new, uh, uh, for the new circumstances. There are, there's probably no way to avoid that. For the sake of Yoshizawa-san and the rest of your friends, I ask you to give me your answer. Oh, I've got an, I've got an answer. I can't accept this reality. Huh? Negotiations seem to have broken down. I see. It seems we still haven't reached an understanding. No, we've reached an understanding. No. Oh? They're not serious, right? Please. I'm begging you, Senpai. Please let me live as Kasumi. Don't hide from the truth. Why can't I just leave it behind me? Kasumi is gone forever. And, and it's all my... All Samiri's fault. That may be true. However, it's not the same. My team has experienced something similar. Morga For example, Morgana's memories were stolen from him. He was created. He thought that he was a human and all of it was crushed because... The reality of the situation was he wasn't. He was created. Not everything is going to turn out the way that you would want. And it's better to embrace that truth than live behind a false wall. I can't live that kind of life. Well. Please. Don't try to stop me. If you do... Are you serious? How stubborn. I agree. No matter what you say to her, I doubt she'll understand. I don't think we have a choice in the matter here. Hmm. I could take care of it for you right now. But you'd prefer her to leave here alive, right? Just hurry up and end this. We'll do a catchy. Please don't make me do this. I'm not going to let you live behind a false wall, a false identity. I can't stop this. I refuse to live with Kasumi's killer. You're not. Persona. Oh, come on. The luck of that. Okay. Just want to point out, luck of that was bullshit. Persona. Dodge. Okay, that's fine. As long as I'm not downed. Let's see. That's gonna take a lot of attacks. Ah, for fuck's sake! I swear to god. Ugh. Okay, Kasumi. I would feel bad for you, but right now you're actually starting to piss me off. And it's not even Kasuma, Kasumi either. All right, Sumere. She doesn't have. Wait, she doesn't have the same weakness as before. 
Uh, could you stop that? You're really starting to piss me off. Oh my god! Not happening. Happening. Let's go. Ravage them. Sondrion. Another. Oh wait, that's charge. Uh oh, I see where this is going. Persona. Ugh. <laughs> oh God. Okay, that hurt. Please don't do this to me. Oh god, look at that face behind her hand. Ugh. Am I losing more health? That was 129. 184. No, I'm getting more. Fuck, man. You're not... She's not listening, is she? <laughs> because... Because High Counter comes in clutch! <laughs> oh my god. That ending was perfect. Her own attack ended up being her own demise. Man, isn't that kind of ironic? Looks like you lost. Why? Our fight's over. Senpai. No. I can't. I can't go back to being Sumire. You saw it all for yourself, Senpai. It's my own fault that my sisters... Why don't you understand? Please. I beg you. Yoshizawa-san. Hmm. He's gonna step up, isn't he? I can give you strength. So you don't have to suffer. Doctor. Don't listen to him. Tell me, if you want your pain to end and desire to live as Kasumi, I'll actualize it. <laughs> We've got to do something now. Sumeri's in danger. We're fighting her persona? Sadly, she has lost sight of herself. She's in pain. Now, be her guide, and together, escape from the nightmare. Are you actually serious right now? No. She's clearly in pain. You're inflicting pain onto her. What the hell? This so-called kindness of his disgusts me. Thank you! Wow, it even discussed the catchy! Please, I'm happy here. This is where I belong! <laughs> so even the psychotic man it says that this is messed. I'll rescue you. The only way I know how. What the fuck? You're manipulating her! It's gone totally berserk. We need to stop her persona. Uh. It ate the smaller one? Wow, okay. We'll have to beat it before it heals itself again. 
Uh, yeah, you do that, Akechi. I'm gonna heal real quick, though. Okay, uh... Okay, well... Hmm. So it supports her... Oh, this is gonna fucking hurt. Ugh. Hey, you know what would be nice? If I had something that could heal. Did you guys see the amount of damage I dealt to her persona? persona. Oh my god. I'm in for a hell of a fight. Oh my god. No, no, I can't. Oh, we're fucked. Oh, I'm so fucked. <laughs> um, am I really supposed to win this? I don't think I have anything. Oh, I do have a revival bead. Uh. Hey. They've got a death wish. I break them. Jesus, fuck. Look at the damage I'm doing to her persona. Why does she have to? Why does she have to be a catchy's weakness, man? Oh, I'm dead, aren't I? Fuck. No, wait, never mind. We're fine. Oh. Uh, oh my God, I have to use a bead. This one. This is insane. Kill it, please. Thank you. I'm inflicted with fear. And of course, there's no detox. Every single time I kill one, another one gets returned. Damn it. There's no end to this. Just what the hell is this thing? It's her persona. Wait, what if? I refuse to return. I will never go back to being such pathetic, soot coated garbage! She's not running from... Now, this is just pure thought, but what if she's not running from her sister's death? What if she's running from being second? You can't tell? It's her refusal to accept the truth. to waste time on this shit. Futaba? That's Futaba, isn't it? So. No? Is that <gasps> Ryuji? Damn it, Skull. I told you not to rush him by yourself like that. Morgana! At least it seemed to work out in our favor. Makoto! <laughs> Everyone! I knew you'd be here. Our apologies for making you wait so long. Is that a catchy kun and Doctor Maruki? Uh. She's always trapped by. Why uh, are not... doing this? What in the world is going on here? Uh. Well, there's a lot I don't understand. So much of this shit makes no sense. <laughs> We've got to stop her first, right, Joker? Right. All right. Let's get in formation. <laughs> this is it. Oh man. Nice. Just the team I wanted to. Unbelievable. <laughs> Why did they come here? For my joy. Oh, we have Futaba back. Yes. Okay. Oh. Hey guys, remember that time I was talking about having a healer? We got Mona! Oh my god. The oh man, the attack. Everything. Just what we needed.
<laughs> Catchy? Nope. Alright. Oh. Okay. Nice. All right. Ooh! Oh, sure All right. Oh, to the next. Need to make this count. As much as I don't like to waste SP, we need to deal as much damage as we can right now. Oh, I got to think of what to do for this one, though. Because I don't have a bead chain anymore. So, this is going to be difficult. Oh, the alternative! Ugh. <sighs> Drain. God dang it. If she takes Mona down, I'll just have to resurrect him with a, with a, an item. Okay, we're good. God, this is going so well for me right now. <laughs> we got the team. Everyone's back. And we've even got a catchy. Nice. Keep summoning them. We'll just keep on taking them down. After all, we're the Phantom Thieves. Not happening. Whoops, wrong one. I did not mean to do that. Uh ugh. Dodge? Nope. Just keep summoning them. Nice, only 139. Ah, <laughs> oh, now this. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, that's gone. You know what? Just go straight for her. It looks like it's working. Just hang in there a little longer. Persona! Get wrecked! Because I don't want to kill it. Because if I kill it, she'll just get an easy 600 back. Orful Blade again. Oh. Is that with? Okay, that's really weak now. This is going so well. Alright. Why can't Proud... Okay, there we go. I was gonna say, I can't proud powers and appear like that. Nice Joker, just at the last second. All right. I'll take that. There we go. 164. So she's not getting that much HP back now. See, I thought that this was a smart plan. Alright, now I'm going to start focusing on that one to get that down. 
Uh oh. Akechi? Okay. Nice. <laughs> okay, I can't do that again. So I guess I'll just charge for next time. Whereas for this, I'll use the full health so that he's good to go for the next few attacks. And he'll survive anything that comes his way. I'm inflicted with burn. Oh, hey, detox. Nice. Only 127. See, now that I'm doing it this way, she's not gaining much health back. Oh. Actually, you know what? Another one. <laughs> Clock strikes midnight. What does that mean? It sounds like a Cinderella thing, doesn't it? Yoshizawa-san. You've all. What the hell have you I done? Can't believe you've thrown away your happiness just to come here and. And how? It's impossible. No, clearly it's not impossible if I've already done it. Me and Akechi. <sighs> you're... You're Dr. Maruki, right? That's right. More importantly, why are... Dude, what the hell's Doc doing inside a palace? What do you think? He's ruling this palace is what he's doing. What? Not only mm. that... He's the one who's generated this whole distorted reality. Isn't that right, Maruki-san? All of this was done for your own joy. Oh, joy. That's right. I only wanted to grant your wishes. Each and every one. But by granting those wishes, you stripped away from them the things that they needed most. Their strengths. They've all learned to... Like, in the past reality, they've all had all the, their hardships already done. We've managed to heal the void that was... Well, some of it, at least, that was there when they were gone. Futaba's... Futaba was strong. She managed to finish her list. An became a proud model who was able to look up and be strong for Shiho. Then we've also got um, Yusuke who was betrayed by his master and still found the way that he wanted to be and found the painting that meant everything to him. Ryuji managed to make up with a track team and he's back and he's better at running than he was before. Haru's father was well, is gone, but despite that, we've managed to, you know, keep her up. And Makoto, well, the same kind of goes with her. They're all, they all grew strong in the reality, the true reality. And he's stripping that strength away. Wait, you what? What do you mean? We never wished for anything like that. Is that really true? Huh? No, never mind. So, you all intend to deny the reality I've created for you. Of course. If you want to fight me, then so be it. If you plan on changing my heart, that's fine too. But before that, I think there's still room for discussion here. Also, I believe taking care of Yoshizawa-san is more important than settling this issue right now. Planning to run again. We can get back to fighting if that's oh, what that's you really unfortunate. want. Oh, that's unfortunate. But I think you're rather exhausted at the moment. <sighs> Smeri? Yoshizawa-san! 
course he's gone. Time. time for what? February 3rd. I'll hear your final decision on the 3rd. He already knows what it's going to be. If your views can't align with mine by then, we'll have no other choice but a physical altercation. Hmm. As much as I would loathe that, I still can't give up what I've started. I swore I'd do. On the day I lost everything that mattered to me. I've lost his reading. Mm. I want to pursue him, but I doubt that's even possible right now. Let's get out of here. Yoshi's always got to rest anyway. I'm still just as shocked as I was when we first came here. <laughs> the navigators returned to our devices. Mm. A palace is visible in our own reality. Mm -hmm. Um, does this mean reality's broken right now or something? Something to do with Dr. Maruki, anyway. Hey, how much do you already know about this stuff? I should tell him what I know so far. So, Dr. Maruki, he altered our reality to make our dreams come true? This is all too much for me to handle at once. Apologies for the interruption. Mind if I interject? Go for it. That's right. A catchy. There's no reason to be defensive. No. Nope. I wish to kill you all, I would have simply done so already. Or at least tried. A catchy's not our enemy. So, you're not here to fight us no I've already put our feud behind me not only that since he and I both refuse to accept reality as Maruki sees fit to make it we currently have the same goal so what you're saying is you're using him <laughs> what about the rest of you considering how you were all living your ideal lives in that other reality until yeah. you decided to come here Maruki seems to be telling the truth about taking your happiness into consideration. While his heart is distorted, he is quite different from the adults whose hearts you've changed so far. Now that you know his intentions, I'm most interested in learning whether you still plan on fighting him or not. What do you mean? I'm up against someone with the power to distort reality as we know it. The more allies on my side, the better. If we all share the same goal, <laughs> Shouldn't we join forces and improve our odds? Oh, hey, Samari. I'll be going now. Be sure to consider my point. Indeed. Hey! Hey! She's... Yoshizawa, are you alright? I... Can you stand? Oh... Yes. I'm sorry that I caused you all so much trouble. Mm. No, no, you don't need to apologize. We should probably go our separate ways for now and discuss it at a better time. Yeah, tomorrow we can... Oh, yeah. Third semester starting up tomorrow, right? I guess we're going back to school, huh? <laughs> I still don't have any idea what we want to do from here on out, though. We've got time. Maruki said he'll wait until February 3rd before... Let's really think it over before making our decision. I wonder... Can we continue confidence? I mean, we've got to be able to, right? Yo, welcome back. Hmm? Didn't know you guys were out together. Wait, what's wrong, Futaba? <sighs> hey, Sojiro, is Mom... Mom? You mean Wakaba? Well, what about her? Uh, nah, it's nothing. It's just I happen to remember something about her, that's all. I see. Okay, then. You know, I caught myself thinking about her earlier, too. <laughs> Odd coincidence, huh? <gasps> so she's well, not bad. I'm gonna head home for the night. How about you, Futaba? Mm, I'm gonna stick around a bit longer. Mm. See? 
Don't stay out too late, all right? The place is all yours. You've got school tomorrow, too, so get to bed at a reasonable time. This is so interesting. Mom really is gone again. Mm -hmm. Sojiro sees it that way, too, now. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you what happened before we came to rescue you. We all ended up here at the same time after you left for Odaiba. Okay, so what happened what after that? that? Wait, you're... A cat. What the? I'm... Oh, yeah. That's right. Why were you human, Mona? Yeah, you're supposed to be a cat. Okay. I am not a... Oh, wait. Yeah, I guess I am a cat. <gasps> He's accepted it! He's accepted the truth! Ah! Hold on, I gotta send this. I, I, ah! He accepted it! How did we never realize? We got your reality was now, changed. We've got more important things to do than sit around here and figure out what happened to us. That's right! You said he was headed to Odaiba, correct? And with Ikechi-kun? We need to find them! I want to see the reaction to the new palace. Oh, dang it! Once we got to Odaiba, we spotted the palace. You know how the rest goes. You were fighting this whole time, weren't you? While I was just bumming around town without a care. I'm sorry. Deep down, I always suspected something strange was happening. Something wrong. But being with my mom was so much fun, I just... I stopped trying to figure it out. Uh, but I've totally snapped out of it thanks to you. <sighs> I'm all good now. It's okay if this is painful. Yep, no worries. I'm fine. Boy. Mm -hmm. School's tomorrow, right? You better not stay up late. You might end up oversleeping. Poor Futaba. We've all been through too much today. Let's try to get some sleep. <sighs> you were quite the looker. What? <laughs> uh. <laughs> yep. I've been trying to wrap my head around all this, and I think it's not- I, it's just not happening. I can't think straight at all. I can hardly blame you. I'm so- I'm still so confused myself. Either way, we've got- I think we've all earned a bit of rest. Maybe a good night's sleep will help us all calm down. You're right. Certainly, the combat has- uh, has tired us out as well. We should all- we could all use some time to de decompress. And on that note, good night. Well, we're going to need some. Uh, we're going to need time to figure all this out. Either way, we can think about this tomorrow. For now, we should go to sleep. Hey. Okay, fine. Yo, I want to say though, I'm digging this coat that he's wearing. Let's do it. You know what would really bring it all together though? A good fedora. If we could just slap a fedora on him, I'm sure everything would uh, fall into place. Yeah? What does everyone else think? <laughs> Joker with a fedora. Anyone? <laughs> oh, gosh. Going into that world again, aren't we? Ah! No, wait, Velvet? 
The Velvet Room? Wait, why are we in the Velvet Room again? It's been quite some time. Uh. Hey, Igor. We have finally succeeded in reaching you. Uh, what's going on? You have been imprisoned once more. This God dang time, it. Not by the God of Control, but a different entity. One who's bound you through your future. However, <sighs> you held fast to your free will and believed in your bonds, allowing your friends to regain their own realities. You are on the verge of grasping a potential reality once more. What's Our wrong? meeting again now <laughs> what, what's within wrong, this Yuri? place is proof enough. It seems the time has come. Wait. We are merely beings who provide aid to humans as they carry out their will. You must be the one to determine the path and actions to take. If the will of rebellion still thrives within you, then we will surely meet again. Look, Yuri, if you're able if you're able to hurt yourself continuously, I'm I'm gonna be able to obsess over wearing a fedora and everyone wearing a fedora. Alright. Lady Lavensa told you that? We ought to tell everyone else that too. Let's all meet up after school. Um Lady. Uh, <gasps> Sumere! Good morning. Um I'm sorry. I can't believe what I tried to do to you two. I genuinely cannot apologize enough for what happened. Hey, it's fine. Oh, come on. There's no need for that. More importantly, how have you been? Physically, I'm fine. But mentally, to be entirely honest, I'm all mixed up. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't bother you with such things now. I'm going to need a little time to myself to think things through. After how many times you've hurt I yourself, I find that kind of to hard to believe, Yuri. My fedora. Speaking of which, actually, you wish I had your own hair. <laughs> uh, hold on. I gotta check something real quick. No? Dang it. Mm. Time's it's not up. out yet. Is forgetting they exist. Come on, Yuri. Ah. Hey guys, I can still see. I swear. You know, what, from, you know what? At this point, I feel like I should just combine my headphones with my fedora. So every single time, uh, I feel like I should just create like a uh, combine my headphones with my fedora that way whenever i put on my fedora i'm, like, I'm also putting on my headphones it sounds like a good idea to me no my fedora <laughs> uh, i'd wear a fedora all day is everyone rested up more or less my mind was racing so uh so much that i passed out before i even realized it same here. I think I've uh, I think I've sorted through my own thoughts, but I'd still like to hear everyone else's take. Uh, I have to tell you all something. Come to the hideout right after school, then. Gotcha. Cool. I'll be waiting for you. I'll be waiting for all of you. We definitely need to update everyone about Lady Lavenza, and cook up our plans for uh, here on out too. to choose our own path, eh? Akechi had mentioned that we needed to determine what we'll do from here on out. It seems he was right. We can accept this reality, but that means we'll have to fight Dr. Maruki, right? That's right. 
We have to confront Maruki and steal his desire. In a way, <laughs> it's business as usual for us. Actually, Dr. Maruki is an adult with a warped pretty desire. Pretty strong on there now. But that desire is just a wish for us all to be happy. <laughs> right? It was. I admit, it's nothing similar to the desires <sighs> we've seen in the likes of Shido and Kamoshida. The Phantom Thieves only change the hearts of evildoers. Dr. Maruki is quite different from our past targets. True. Well, I think we already know what we gotta do. Haru's right. Dr. Maruki ain't a shitty adult at all. There are probably plenty of folks out there living all happy in this reality. Who knows? Maybe Dr. Maruki is actually doing the right thing. But we all still feel like this reality is wrong, right? We decide what's right for ourselves. <laughs> That's what we all agreed on when we went after him in the palace. If changing Doc's heart uh. fixes our reality, then I'm gonna do it. Uh, so somebody say something? Uh, sorry, I, I was just thinking about how right you are, Ryuchi. So we're going to change our target's heart not to reform society, but to acquire the reality we believe in. That doesn't sound bad at all. Then it's unanimous. Why isn't the fedora purple? Because I couldn't find a well, purple fedora. Also, why would a purple fedora look good on me? Come on, Hooden. Get back in the palace. Right. Maruki said that he'd be willing to fight if we are too. It's safe to assume he's expecting us to infiltrate his palace. That reminds me. You know hey, that, what do you uh, mean, Granny? Uh, reality bending stuff? Why is Doc able to do that anyway? I've been wondering the same thing. Even if he was the top it's, cognitive it's purple, science purple expert, school. that wouldn't be enough for him to do all of this. If we're going to fight Maruki, we'd better dig up some more intel on him first. Akechi? Good day. Oh no, it's Lavenza. Lavenza speaking. Lavenza? Huh? Your will of rebellion has reached new heights. We would like to aid that will if you find it agreeable. That'd be helpful. Wait, how is she even calling you? And how'd she know how high our wills are? <gasps> Did she tap your line or something? <laughs> her timing was just too perfect. Maybe she actually did. <laughs> I have performed no form of electronic surveillance off. whatsoever. True, true. Apparently, she can hear you. There's something I wish to tell you regarding your current situation. However... I'm reaching the limit of my communication ability with this method. Let us meet in person tomorrow. Where? It would be best for me to select a location considered easy to reach by all parties. Therefore, let us convene at your school. Okay. Shinjin? Wait, she'll be at the school? Lavenza will? In that case, I'll see you tomorrow. She hung up. Okay, seeing on she with really that little bow tie is kind of strange. Walk through the front Speaking gates like which? nothing? I'm not sure what to make of it. But since we've determined our goal and Lavenza's offer to help us, I'd call that progress of some sort. All we have left is whatever we discuss tomorrow at school, plus whether or not we're going to so, team up with Akechi. Oh, Considering what he told us, really does seem like we share an end goal with Akechi, but... Well, I think we ought to team up. Mm hmm. Me too. Are you sure? Yeah. Dr. Maruki's strong enough to change reality itself. If we're gonna fight him, we're gonna need Akechi's help. Plus, if he does betray us again, we'll just take him out too. I guess that settles that. He's telling, he's telling that Let's all meet at Shujin tomorrow. There we go. I'll take care of figuring out how to get Yusuke and Futaba right. in the school. I appreciate the effort. Thank you. All right. Let's head home for now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I found it. So, uh... How do you guys feel? <laughs> if I started wearing this during streams? <laughs> I'm covering the top so you guys don't like see like the name or anything. What do you guys think? 
Uh, I'll handle it. Why do I feel like Yuri's gonna... It isn't purple. Uh, I don't know if I have anything purple. I don't know if I have purple. Probably be better for me to do this just so that I, you know, keep in mind of, uh, oh, come on. Eh. Just so I can keep in mind of how to do this. There we go. What if I just put, what if I just put, should, it, should I should I put this on midstream? I haven't learned how to do this though. Luckily, all right, just making sure. It's got instructions on the back. I don't. I don't have purple, Yuri. I don't think I have purple. No, I don't have purple. I'll wear my May the 4th shirt with with the blue and black bow tie and a black fedora. <laughs> uh, God. It's not as easy as it sounds, Yuri. Okay, question is, how am I going to go about this? How do I open this without tearing anything? Because if I tear something, I'm going to be mad. Do I have my multi-tool near me? The answer is most likely no. It's probably somewhere else right now. But it would be nice if I had it here. Because it would make things easier for me. God, I have a purple Ugh. Ah, it's so sticky now. There's so much adhesive on this. I hope you guys are liking Mas the Masquerade songs playing in the background. Fun fact, I've never actually wore, I've actually, I have never worn a bow tie in my life. Can I put a bow tie on my, on my myself? with the bow tie as well or is this <laughs> oh i don't know oh it's probably pre-tied i'd have to untie it oh hey oh and it came with the oh wow thanks whoever this i don't remember where did i get the... how did i uh anyway pocket square 
So if I'm wearing a little thing with a uh, front on it, I can tie it. I can fold the pocket square and, and be even more fancy. This is this. This right here is my mortal enemy. Oh, hey. Alright, mortal enemy defeated. Take that. Okay, so wait, do I just. Sad as it may be, this isn't a true bow tie. Right now it's just a cliff. And even then, I think it's gonna choke me. Of course, of course you wouldn't. Of course you would, Yuri. Oh wait, actually. <laughs> you guys proud? You guys happy that I'm wearing a bow tie? And a fedora? <laughs> Alright, I'll have to keep these instructions in mind. Roommates are gonna be very confused if I walk out of this room with a bow tie and a fedora on. <laughs> and I've gotta go eat it sometime. <laughs> hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Fine. I can't tell you how to spin Why do you feel angry? Oh. Hey. Sorry, it's nothing. Don't say hey and it doesn't seem like nothing. No. I was just remembering what happened that night. You remember, right? The night before we went into Mementos to erase it, before we dealt with Shido. Remember how I had said I'd finally find uh, found the place where I belong? Even though I said that and really believed it, I still fell right into Mar uh, Maruki's hands. I know I've made it so I know I've made it obvious how much I want to be a human. More than once, I thought I would it would give me a chance with Lady On, but <sighs> what I did was just so lame. I can't believe I was off having a blast while you were busy trying to help us. Oh, the... Why, uh... Oh. <laughs> uh. I need... I, you know what? I've said this before and I need to say it again. I need to make a... <gasps> I'll make a fancy dabbing emote with, like, a bow tie and a top... Or a, a fedora just dabbing. Yes! But you came back. Well, yeah, that's true, but I mean, that was just the right thing to do. Now that I think about it, you've been helping me from the very beginning. <laughs> Hell, I was locked up in a prison when we first met. <sighs> I'm nowhere near cool. You're already super cool. <sighs> Quit buttering me up. You don't have to tell me twice, though. You're going to be super cool from here. I'm, I'm going to be super cool from here on out. Listen up. You know what? I'm going to make a. I'm going to make you a promise right now. From here on, I'm going to be more independent. I just kept try. I just kept relying on you for everything because deep down I thought you could figure everything out for me. But that's all changing. I'm going to stand proud on my own four feet. And I'm going, and, oh man, it's still shocking me that Morgana's like, oh yeah, that's right, I am a cat. I mean, you're pretty scary, Yuri, but I wouldn't say the worst nightmare. 
And uh, that's not a contest. Wait, I take. Wait, hold on. No, wait. That's not supposed. To, wait, no contest. No contest. No contest. There's, there's not gonna be a contest for who's scarier, or what's scarier, really. I'm gonna be the one to protect you. I promise I will. Wait, what? What's happening? was that what there's a that's what it meant that's what that meant oh my god i was wrong oh my god hold on wait when i search up my uh when i search up my thing hold on wait uh give me a second um persona 5 roy uh wait royal confidence wait confid confid confidence i'm not used to this keyboard yet uh there's always the... Okay, well, that's not it. Uh, there's always, like... Max is the second awakening, which transforms his persona into a mythological tri uh, a mythological trickster. And then there's another one under the royal. He's with the myth mythological trickster, awakening its true power. What the hell? Alright, time to serve Maruki his just desserts. Anyone who tries to pull one over on us is just asking, uh, like that is just asking for it. Let's do our best. Right. right. Sorry again for all the hassle. You and I are gonna be even greater partners now. Let's turn in for the night. Well, let's. Uh, things are getting hectic starting tomorrow. Let's call it a night. What the hell? Oh, that's really good, though. I don't want to drop it. Oh, my God. Look at that, though. That mustache is a thing to behold. already got a job oh a new year is starting you all look sleepy what did you doze through the new year was was Shog shogatsu one big excuse to be to laze around good grief eh uh shogatsu is not supposed to be an excuse to relax you know we decorate with katomatsu Kag uh, Kagami Mochi and Shimanawa in order to welcome the Toshigami deities. It's one of the oldest traditions in Japan. By the way, cherry blossom viewing is even. Uh, 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 by the way, cherry blossom viewing and even Children's Day are meant to commemorate deities and spirits. Japan oh no. Oh no. What is the answer? <laughs> to be a voice actor? Come on, there's- I'm not hey, good wait. at- I am not good at voice acting, man. Alright, uh, for showing our five ro wait, royal, uh, classroom answers. Thank you. Let me just- uh, blah. Okay. Seriously? Ooh, excuse me. Sorry. Uh, how numerous they are. And the eight million gods. Mm, that means. 
This is it. Correct. That's correct. No way. We call them Yayorozu or no Yayorozu no Kami or the eight million gods. Though that number is not meant to be taken literally. Yayorozu is essentially shorthand for myriad gods, an uncountable number. I should tape this to my head so that that doesn't happen. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, let's do this. In olden days, the Japanese believed that gods dwelled in everything. What with these, what with all these traditions, you could say these beliefs still affect our lives today. It's a wonderful thing, really. We really need to cherish our history. Nice going. For a model, I got that bow tie. Nice, Lady On seems really relieved. Oh, it just has. Oh wait, charm. Wait, charm? Why charm? Oh. You've been awfully busy lately. Don't forget to eat lunch. As for uh, myself, be sure to order some jelly filled bread and. Uh, hmm? That's. Lavenza. Yeah, let's go. That's Lavenza. All right, Yuri, take your time. Hey. Come here, you butterfly. Oh. To the second, no, down to the first. Oh. This is Lavenza, isn't it? <sighs> For real? It's just like my dream. YouTube or tw uh, Twitch or YouTube? Uh, both? I mean, I'm able to do both. There it is. Lady Lavenza. Yeah, of course. Hello. Thank you for coming. Uh, well, you, uh, what's with the formality? That's odd. I thought humans regularly exchange phrases such as that upon meeting. Perhaps it would have been more appropriate to say, What's up? Okay. Oh, well, um, <clears throat> Never mind. Uh, anyway, uh, how about we get this started? As I told you yesterday, there's something I wish to tell you. But first, please gather your other friends here. Here? You want to meet in the nurse's office? This place is filled with the cognition of bed rest. Maintaining my existence in a reality like controlled by someone like Maruki is no simple feat. But the exhaustion mm. that it induces is limited by this place's cognition, so I may converse with you all in person here. I... see. Let us continue this conversation once everyone involved has convened. Okay. Until that time, I will provide my eyes a much-needed rest. Yeah, take Wait. your time. Rest? Uh, Lady Lavenza? Let's just go grab the others. It's probably exhausting to. Uh, okay. I guess we should get everyone in here. Yeah, let's let her. Let's just let her rest. She is using a lot of energy. Oh, here we go. Infiltration success. Oh, God, you scared. No one took notice of us. Considering how I don't have an adequate excuse for the school to approve your being here, we are lucky it went as well as it did. As long as you maintain an air of confidence, you can fool just about oh anybody boy. into thinking you belong. Hey, you catchy. I must say, though, I hadn't expected you to actually reach out to me for something like this. Mm. Well, it's just as we said before. Nope. We've accepted your offer to work together. Now's not the time to let personal stuff get in the way of our goal. But if you ever betray us again, we'll make sure you regret it. All right, then. That's no concern of mine anyway. Remember what I told you all before? We share a mutual interest. Until Maruki is defeated, we have a deal to uphold. 
Oh, hey. What's it up? appears that everyone's arrived. Does this mean you're ready to begin? Uh, ain't that our line? Uh, care to fill us in? Yes. I wished to speak with you about the circumstances that led this Maruki to alter reality as you know it. Okay. As well as the true nature of his power. You know all of that? I admit there will be a degree of speculation involved, but only to a small extent. First, I will explain the situation with the current reality. I believe that Maruki yeah, has altered the cognition of the masses. In Disturb. other words, it's thought that the, the alterations he's made are the result of his meddling with mementos. He changed mementos? How is oh. that even possible? Yeah, exactly. How'd it come back? Wait, don't forget about our experience with the Metanav and Maruki's palace. Seems like this kind of thing has a habit of sticking around despite our expectations. Mementos is the cognition of the masses given form. Mm -hmm. If that man is truly capable of controlling individuals' cognitions, and that man were also to gain access to mementos, it would be no surprise that he could impact everyone's cognitions and affect reality itself. Well, that's not good. Uh, could he really have done all that? I mean, it's assumed that Dr. Maruki has the power to control cognition, right? Exactly. That man's controlling of cognition. Let's see. Why don't we refer to his power as actualization? Most likely, that actualization is a power unique to a persona. In other words, this man named Maruki is... He's a persona user? That's impossible. There's no way to have a persona and a palace at the same time. Determining when Maruki first awakened to his power is wholly impossible. However, by the time he crossed your paths, there's no doubt that he was making use of his actualization, although he may have only been doing so subconsciously. Mm. Even if it is just his subconscious, he's using a persona in the real world. So his ability to make Yoshisawa-san think she was Kasumi-chan... It was most likely through the use of actualization. Still though, even if we assume that Maruki has unique persona abilities, such as the case with him and myself. Mm -hmm. We still need to determine how he used that power on Mementos as a whole. Yeah. Rather than a single individual. Right. Even if there were some kind of power that could affect Mementos, it's on a whole other level from what we've seen so far. A single person just shouldn't be capable of all that. That's true. Changing reality just by thinking about it isn't something humans do. It's something that, like, gods do. Don't say it. And what if he became such a god? What? The god of control. Yep. Indeed, the, boss. the being in mementos that you all defeated was a false deity that the masses deludedly clung to. It is easy to conclude that Maruki simply took over the false god's position when it disappeared. Took over his position? What do you mean? So you're saying society thinks of Doc as a god now or something? Now, the Phantom Thieves are the ones who gained the masses' support after defeating this so-called god of control. So it would follow that the masses would turn to the Phantom Thieves next as their savior. In that case, why did they instead turn to Maruki? Exactly. Who did none of the work the Phantom Thieves did. Mm. Masses were invested in the Phantom Thieves, not Maruki. Wait, you what? What, what? what do you mean? Do you mean? We, never we never wished for anything, for anything like, like, this. like this. Is that really true? true. true. It's most likely because... We chose Maruki. What? After we defeated the God of Control, we wished for reality to be like Dr. Maruki described it. And it happened? It makes uh, sense when I you actually think doing about any it. I with you guys and Doc. I mean, <laughs> when would we have even had the chance to? 
What about our counseling? Yep. You can't change the past, but you still want to keep your chin up and press onward. Is that is that the gist of it? Yeah, that sounds about right. And I mean, it definitely uh it definitely be better if none of this ha had happened at all. Well, no matter well, no matter what path you might have taken, uh, you might have to take to get there. I hope your track dreams will. Uh, I hope your track dreams will still do you some good in the end. <laughs> Thanks. Looks like you all walked right into the spider's parlor. There's no way spider's of knowing web. how many of those situations were intentionally orchestrated by that man. However, the result is still the same. A desire for his actualization was seeded within your hearts. Thus, I have no doubt that it was your own desires that led to their actualization. So this is all our fault, huh? We're the ones who told him the cognitive world really exists, too. Uh, let's put an end to this. got to be the ones to fix it. Indeed. Yes. This realization changes none of what we must do. Very well. Then allow me to proceed. This world is in a very unstable condition currently. On the day that the God of Control fused mementos with the real world, the merging was undone through your efforts, and the two worlds are now attempting to return to their initial states. Mm. So... What you're saying is this world has reverted to a state where the fusion with Mementos hasn't been totally undone. That explains why Maruki's palace was visible in Odaiba. Mm -hmm. Even as we speak, Maruki is still influencing this world in places where its boundaries are blurred. As slow a pace as it may be, he still continues to actualize the world of the masses as a whole. Should this continue, reality shall merge with mementos once more. The two worlds will again become one. When that happens, anyone trapped within the actualized world can never again awaken to the original one. No. This mm -hmm. issue goes beyond the masses as well. Although you are all Persona users, it would be next to impossible to defy Maruki in a world completely under his control. Mm. To be clear, once the two worlds conclude their fusion, there will be no chance of your success in this mission. And I believe this fusion will conclude in one month's time. We only have a month. Oh boy. If memory serves me correctly, February 3rd was the date Dr. Maruki gave us, right? Yeah. Could he have possibly chosen the time limit based on when his actualization will be completed? Possibly. It's possible. Yeah. If that's the case, we don't got another choice except to steal his treasure by then. We'll need to secure our route to the treasure by the second so we can send our calling card. Then, on the day of, we're most likely going to have to fight Maruki. Allow Man, to, to think Maruki would be the this final is certain to be our palace final card. user. I'll pour my heart and soul into its creation. Be that as it may, there are still some unsolved questions. You mean the meta nav? Right. What's the deal with the palace's name? Doesn't seem to affect the app's functions, but... That must also be a product of Maruki's cognition. He most likely learned that you could somehow infiltrate the metaverse. As so long it as you created... your existence, your method of infiltration will not entirely disappear either. However, in his heart, he must have feared you would learn his identity as the palace's ruler. Perhaps such a feeling took the form of hiding the ruler's name from you. But in that case, why didn't Dr. Maruki just actualize us out of existence entirely? I'm gonna be right back, guys.
Maruki told us he wants us to accept his world. It may be hard to believe, but since we mutually benefit from his actualization, maybe he really does want us to submit. Sorry, even if it does fix shit for us, I, I just can't accept the world getting treated like that. Let's start the infiltration tomorrow, yeah? And you? Sound good? You're hmm. willing to ask me as well. Of course. Duh, dude. The Phantom Thieves don't act unless it's a unanimous vote. Hmm. Fine, then. You know I have no intention of accepting Maruki's world anyway. Then that settles that. What? All right. What about Yoshizawa-san? We hmm. may not have summoned her as one of the Phantom Thieves. This definitely involves her as well. Maybe we should fill her in on our situation once she comes to terms with her own. What she does with that information, though, that's up to her. Mm. Right. If that concludes matters, I shall continue to watch over you, Trickster. Please show me the path that you choose for humanity. <gasps> she was watching. She heard everything. Mary. I just I guess we might as well close up for the night. Hey, once you're done washing that, you can go ahead and call it a welcome. Sumeri. Um, Yoshizawa? Have a seat. She's here to see you, right? Now, don't worry about finishing up. I'll take care of it later. Hmm. Sorry for coming over so late. And thank you for the coffee. <laughs> it's delicious. Turns out I can't go over today because, uh, there's something I'm gonna need to do. So this is probably going to be the last day I do before I get off. Mm. Would you mind if I got something off my chest? Go for it. Thank you. So, to tell the truth, I saw you all go into the nurse's office today, and, um... Uh, it's I streaming. Sort of I've got to go somewhere. dropped on your conversation. Uh, sorry, guys. Just... There's, we're talking about the new house and everything, and I've gotta, I've gotta be there for that. I might continue later though, and it might be on a different game too, because uh, even though we're getting close to the end, but right now I'm currently, we're currently in the process of moving, and uh, I'll, I'm, pro I'm probably gonna be back soon. And by soon, I mean like a couple hours. So. Expect me back in like a couple hours or something, and uh, hopefully, ah, uh, good for you, no more Joker. Um, but I might be back later on, but this is probably gonna be the final day that we have about the actualization. You've all found the paths you want to take. And are following them with such confidence. Whereas I'm simply mm. like Dr. Maruki said before. I ran from the truth. I couldn't handle the fact that Kasumi died because of my actions. My memories are still a bit hazy, but even when I remembered that I'm really Sumire, I didn't want to accept it. I was still running from reality. Where Kasumi is gone. Where I had to live for Kasumi, instead of as her. Hmm. Do you still want to run? No. Like I said earlier, I realized something when I saw you all striving to push onward. I can't keep running like this. But now that Kasumi's gone, I have no idea what to do with myself. Senpai, what should I do? I know you'll choose well. 
You can be awfully firm sometimes, Senpai, but you're absolutely correct. I must thank you for allowing me to unload all of this onto you. I'm still not completely sure what I should do, but I plan to think more on it. I've got to figure out what to do with my life now. This will, this this may very well be the uh, this may very well be the last time you guys see of Skigoni Fancy Pants. <laughs> uh, rewriting history. I would never have thought such a t uh, I would never have thought uh, I would never have thought such a thing possible. Not only that, but this palace is ruled by a Persona user. How does that make any sense? I know j I know God modding when I see it. All right. Uh, uh, at this point, he's basically is a god, right? This shit makes Shido look small time. We need to come up with a plan. And that's a good point. We should meet up tomorrow. Sounds good. Speaking of which, how should we contact Akechi-kun? I guess we could let him back in the group chat, right? Yep, that'd be quickest. Uh, let's put him in. Alright, I'll take care of it. One month to go, huh? We better come up with a plan. That time is gonna go by fast. Let's do it. Let's do it. Alright, so... Until I come back on... Thank you guys so much for coming out to watch the stream. You all have a fantastical day. Or night. Whichever one it is for you guys. And... I, Skigoni Fancy Pants, hope to see you guys next time.